Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my reacts. It's your host, Mama Muhammad, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about why is Maxine so frustrating in season two? Or should I say, why did I go from loving Max to hating her in the beginning of season two? <music> So if you guys, for disclaimer purposes, this video was filmed in the beginning of January after um, Jenny and Georgia dropped. And so, yeah, I look a little different. My setup is a little different, but this is going to be the setup. And I just wanted to like give you a disclaimer. The outfit's different. Everything's different. Um, also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos like this because... I have a lot of more Jenny and Georgia videos coming out, like a video, I guess video essay style, if you can say. And yeah, it's kind of my own unique way of reviewing the show since I talk a lot. I hope you guys like this video and let's get on with the video. I loved Maxine in season one, but that birthday scene um jenny's birthday i remember jenny was about to tell her like um i'm not a virgin but maxine didn't want to hear that because she just assumed that jenny wasn't a virgin because she never had a boyfriend and i'm like you don't need a boyfriend when you in relationship with jenny but maxine she wasn't thinking that she don't listen to anybody she does she's just like so in her head like I'm not gonna say like like an overthinker, but I'm like she's so much into her own world and she's so involved with herself, and it's nothing wrong with being involved with yourself. If it doesn't fit in her world or if it doesn't consume her, you know, this girl like she could see the signs in front of her, but she chose to ignore everything. Like, especially when she found out that Jenny and Marcus had hooked up, she was mad. Like, I get it, you're upset, but girl, you're pressed for the wrong reason. Like, just, that's your twin. Okay, yeah, she's your best friend. And I do agree with, with Jenny, I think, episode four? I do agree with Jenny, like, everything doesn't revolve around you, you know? Like, I think everything I'm going through is in, completely invisible to you. And I also agree with Marcus in season one, when he's like, you are so much you don't know what any like you don't know the things that jenny is dealing with you know and she doesn't you know that's the thing about max flaw like, throughout the beginning of season two like maxine was just getting on my freaking nerves like she was doing the most especially with abby when she abby made that beautiful sign for her, for her birthday like nora and nora didn't even make a sign for your birthday abby did that for you and that's and then she gonna tear it down Cause she mad because abby knew about it like you're ruining a long time friendship with abby because of something she didn't tell you like i agree best friends don't have to tell each other everything like they don't like sometimes you keep stuff to yourself okay and that's what abigail did and i'm happy you know i'm happy that abigail and jenny like kind of like became friends you know they became closer this season which i applaud because i felt kind of sus about abby at first with jenny but you know either way we talk about max maxine and jenny had a conversation and kind of had a different tad in the hallway and then they made up i was so happy because i was like that uh, that whole mad situation was getting on my nerves okay anyway i did like maxine at the end episode four all the way till the end of season two because she was more of a supportive friend jenny was being a little bit more out outspoken when it came to max because season one jenny was not really um using her voice like she was this season which i'm really proud of kudos to the writers for making jenny use her voice more because she needs to <laughs> Maxine and Sophie, I thought they were really cute season one, but when Sophie broke up with Maxine because she said she loved her, I thought that was such a scary cat move. And then in the end, I think in episode 10, she tried to, um, she tried to, like, befriend Max. I'm like, no. First of all, you, Max been, like, Max was pining over Sophie the whole dang on season. And then when she finally starts getting over with Sophie, Sophie, like, I'm gonna swoop back in and try to befriend her. Like, no. 
you ran away when I wanted to love you. And I can't accept that. And I can't accept the fact that you broke up with me right now. Like, I'm just starting to move on from you. I can be your friend. And I agree with that. And I'm proud of Max for standing her ground. But Sophie and Max are really cute in season one. But I do like Maxine and Silver. Their little flirty bits throughout the show was really, really cute and really, really fun um, to see um, someone match it up with Max's speed because Max is, like I said, she's very animated. And you have Silver who is animated with her work, but is a little bit like calm and reserved and a little bit like shy, kind of. Um, but I have some angst, I feel. And, you know, I think they fit well together. So I can't wait for season three to give me something with that. So, yeah. So, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos like that. I have more um, review, commentary, video essay-esque videos like that coming out really soon of Jenny and Georgia and possibly out of bangs. Comment down below if there's something that you'll be interested in seeing or this kind of um form of content you'll be interested in seeing on this channel as well other than that i hope you guys like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one